Hello Python programmers. So in this video, we'll discuss how to create voice activated switch using Python. So the concept is very simple. And by concept, I mean the mechanism on which our program will work. So basically what we'll do is we'll write a Python program, which will first continuously take the audio input and look for some specific words. And these specific words will then activate a switch. Okay. Now you can attach any application or any appliance to this switch you can attach your fan you can attach your light you can attach your ac if you want because this switch is simply a servo motor okay so this was a quick introduction of our project with some visuals around now let's see what is the system requirement or what are the hardware and software you need for this project okay first of all let's talk about the hardware you need servo motor arduino uno and some jumper wires okay all the links will be provided in the description from there you can buy if you want then let's see that what are the packages that we need to install first is the speech recognition so quickly write pip install speech recognition make sure that uh, this s and this r is capital okay so speech recognition press enter and uh, this package will be installed for you for me this is already installed now this library was for speech recognition. Let's do something for our servo motor also. So we need a package called uh, PyFormata. So PyFormata, press enter. Okay, so PyFormata is also installed and uh, we don't need any other package for this project. So let's quickly get to our edge term so that we can start writing our code. Okay, so let me close this real quick. And uh, first of all, let's import all the packages required. Okay, so we have imported our packages. Now let me explain you that which package will be used for which task. So speech recognition, this is pretty much self explanatory. This will be used for speech recognition and we have assigned short notation SR for this package. Okay, and then we have imported Arduino servo and utils from PyFormata. Okay. PyFormata can also be used for some other sensors also like ultrasonic sensor. I have created video on that also. If you want, you can check out from the link in the description. Okay. I have worked on many Arduino components with Python. Okay. And then we have imported sleep from time to add some delay. Okay. Now let's do the first thing first. Let's take the audio input from our microphone. Okay. So SR dot uh, recognizer ZDR. Okay, make sure that uh, this R is capital. Okay, then mic is equal to SR dot microphone and the device index is uh, one. This okay? device index default audio input. So we have initiated our microphone now with mic with mic in sorry as source with mic as source R dot uh, adjust for ambient noise it should be ambient ambient noise and we want to apply to this source okay uh, should be source here okay so first of all we are creating the class instance for recognizer this r variable is that variable okay then we are defining that what will be the microphone okay now this is the default microphone then with mic as source with uh, this variable mic as source r dot adjust ambient noise just making sure that we are not getting any white noises so now our audio is clean let's apply some conditions and check that what is the input coming from the user okay so while true audio is equal to listen audio is equal to dot listen and let's put this inside a try and accept condition uh, if r dot recognize recognize google we are using google model here now we have multiple models let me show you okay okay so this is the package that we are using these are the models that you can use we have google speech recognition we have google cloud we have microsoft we have ibm okay so these are the multiple options that you can use but we are using the google recognition model if you want you can use the other one also is equal to equal to let's say switch switch on 
okay so if the user said switch on let's print something for now we'll assign the movement of servo motor in just a bit for now let's assign some text here switch is on now if this condition is not true if this is not something the user said then we'll simply print uh something okay <laughs> something and uh, if we have this accept condition this means that we are getting no audio okay no audio or when the user is silent okay so let me check if there is any spelling mistake and let's run our program okay so let's run our program python program.py is the file name okay so we are getting uh, some errors servo from pi formata i guess the s should be capital actually the entire servo motor should be capital servo it should be all caps now let's run this once again audio okay some exception error at what line at line 12 okay at line 12 okay so we haven't indented it correctly okay so let's save this and let's run it once again once again we are getting an error cannot import name utils because it should be util there is no s in here okay so let's run our program once again okay so i guess our program is running i said something this was not a switch on switch on okay so here you can see that uh, when a when i said switch on the text was printed switch on and now i am talking gibberish so it will say something something there you go it said something something so the program is working perfectly let's check this once again switch on okay so it's working perfectly now let me close this and uh, let's do the part for servo motor okay arduino part is also very simple you have to do one thing you have to install the arduino ide so uh, you have to go to a browser and write arduino ide i'll provide the link in the description you can download from them and uh, choose the operating system that you're using and download this ide now let's install the package that we have to install in our arduino ide okay uh let me maximize it then what you need to do is you need to go to tools uh, tools manage libraries uh it will take some time to open uh then you need to write formata here formata and uh this is the package that you have to install this is the library that you have to install this is built by formata team only and uh this is the version that i'm using so just to be sure select this version from this drop down menu okay so uh after installing this a small button of uh, install will be present here uh, just like this one just install the package uh, click close before we uh, write the python code what we need to do is uh, we need to go to this files uh, this examples uh, go to this formata and uh, standard formata okay select this standard formata file then connect your arduino with your laptop okay so i guess i have to show you the connection first so let's go to the connection okay so let's see the connection of our arduino uno and servo motor real quick so these are the two components that are required for this project uh, first is the microcontroller which is a uh, arduino uno i'll provide the buy link for both of these uh, products in the description if you want to buy the specific model that i'm using and uh, this is a uh, servo motor and to be specific this is this is SG90, okay. It took me some time to focus. Okay, so the connection is pretty simple. There are three main wires to this. Uh, brown, red and yellow. Let me focus to this. Okay, so as you can see, we have brown, red and yellow wires. The brown wire will be connected to ground. So this brown wire is this black. So let's connect this black to the ground. connect this to the ground the red one or the middle one is the VCC so it will be connected to 5 volt 5 volt is just adds uh, 
adjacent to ground okay so let me turn this now you can see five fold okay so i have placed ground wrong i guess these two pins are for ground and uh, just adjacent to ground we have five fold and then the last pin uh, the yellow one or uh, the orange one will be connected to the digital pin so uh, we are connecting to digital pin 10 you can connect to any digital pin you want these are the digital pins and uh, we are connecting it to 10th okay but you can connect to any digital pin you want now if you want this to be systematic you can connect this on a breadboard but uh, it is not a requirement okay uh, then connect this power cord to our Arduino like this and then connect this USB port to your laptop okay so this was the connection part now let's get to our editor so that we can start writing our code okay so now we are back from the connection so uh, let's upload this code to our Arduino okay so it will take some time okay so the code is uploaded as you can see done uploading don't be intimated by this uh, red color this is not the red color of error okay now after this code is uploaded on the arduino uno you can uh, now close this id okay so we are back in a python program so first of all let's define the port usb port on which our arduino uno is connected so it's com3 for me for you it may be different let me show you how you can check it you just need to click on this tools and there you can see port is com3 this is for me for you it may be different so write the com here write the port here and then the pin the pin on which your servo motor is connected so mine is connected on 10th digital then we have to create the board class instance the arduino class instance okay arduino and the port okay port so we have initiated our arduino now let's contact our servo motor okay so board dot digital board dot digital add the pin uh, dot mode is equal to servo so we are saying that on our arduino board add the digital pin 10 our servo motor is connected okay so what we'll do is when uh, we said switch on we want to call a function so for i in range this is not for function this is to create the degree of rotation okay so for i in range 0 to 45 this will rotate the fans or the blades or servo motor from 0 to 45 degrees uh, then we'll create a function let's say rotate okay uh, pin and i we don't need any changes on this else condition we don't need any changes on this except condition so let's create a function real quick this uh, rotate function so rotate def rotate and uh, this accept two values first is pin and then we have the angle so what we'll do is we'll write board dot digital dot digital add the pin this variable here dot write and what we have to write we have to write this angle okay so let me explain you this board arduino board dot digital add the digital pin 10 dot write we have to write on this digital pin whatever device is connected to the 10th pin of the digital input we have to write what this angle okay and what is this angle this angle is from 0 to 45 okay now after this we'll add some delay very small delay uh, let's say 0 0.015 okay 0 0.015 uh, so i guess everything is uh, perfect i don't think so i have made any spelling mistakes now here uh, let's save this and let's run a python program here switch on okay so this is working switch on 
now let me do one thing i forgot to show you the output let me do one thing let me uh hold the servo motor and show you the output okay just a second just a second around the python program is running now and and uh, okay so our servo motor is started switch on there you can see the servo motor is rotating now there is nothing happening let me focus on the servo motor now switch on okay so i guess so yep this was a short video in which i have shown you how to create voice activated switch using python okay so see you in my next one bye bye